In this video, you'll learn the basics of planting Kernza from experienced growers, including how to select and prep your field, how to plant, and how to set your machinery. Let's get started. My name is Nicole Touches. We are standing in a field I'm about to plant Kernza in near East Troy, Wisconsin. Planting Kernza is not at all like establishing row crops like soybeans and corn. If you've established a pasture before, we want to draw on those experiences. So we're aiming for relatively shallow seeding depth, right at a quarter inch, and we're making sure that we're putting out the right rate. So today I am aiming for 15 to 18 pounds per acre. We're aiming for fall establishment of Kernza if we want it to yield grain the following year. Recommendations for our location in the Upper Midwest is planting between September 15th and October 15th. We're having warmer falls. I like to think we have a little bit more leeway on that end date, but so I'm making sure that I have good soil moisture. I'm going two or three days after we got a good rainfall here. Today, we are establishing Kernza as I have in the past with our Great Plains no-till drill. It's a 1006 model. It can handle no-till and residue conditions and it's able to plant shallowly. It has a small seed box and a large seed box and I've chosen to put Kernza in the large seed box because I feel that that generally works better and we did calibrate before we came out here so I'm feeling good about my rate going out. Kernza being a perennial grain it competes the most poorly against other perennial grass species. Considering that we don't want to establish Kernza after a pasture or after a really weedy fallow situation. A spring seeded crop that is coming off early enough for you to establish Kernza like oats, like corn silage, like a pulse crop is going to be your best bet. Today, with the Great Plains, we're set up for seven and a half inch row spacing. We are a certified organic operation, so I do like those narrow row spacings, and we need those in the establishment year to be able to compete with weeds. Conventional operations sometimes go to 12 to 15 inch rows because they have the ability to spray out weeds in the inner row spaces. And that actually, research has shown that yields are higher for longer during the life of the stand when you have wider row spacings because there's just less plants competing for the same number of, of resources. Most important factors in successful establishment are a finely prepared seed bed, so you don't want large clods. You want relatively fine grain of your seed bed surface, just like how we establish alfalfa, which is another perennial. I always recommend at least 15 pounds per acre, if not higher. Lower seeding rates result in less likelihood of establishment success, and then that seeding depth is key. So you need to keep getting out of your tractor and making sure that the seed is going in shallow but has enough soil on the surface to protect it. An analysis of people who have had difficulty or failed establishments found that we think people aren't putting out a high enough seeding rate and we think that people are planting too deep. But we have found that when you just spread on the surface, it's not protected enough. So we put it at a quarter inch depth to get a little bit of soil contact on top and to protect the seed enough. But once you start getting too deep, then we're gonna get really uneven germination and emergence. What's great about Kernza is that the community of people involved in Kernza is a really special one in that we're all team players. We all want everybody to succeed. It's not competitive. There are resources listed in the Kernza Grower Guide. If you find someone online, just call them. Pretty much everyone in the Kernza community is gonna be friendly and helpful. 
and we want to help you get your field established successfully. To learn more about how you can get started planting Kernza and connect with resources and support, visit 